On Crestron Systems, having a password protected page where you can have settings and things that you don't want average users to touch can be super useful. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build something like this in your own programs. Before I get started, here is a link where you can download the example project so you can play with it yourself and use it for your own learning. So let's get started. I already put the program together to make things easier. The core of it here is this password version 1.1 module. So if I go Alt Y, I can open my symbol library. And you, you want to look under Crestron modules. I'll just show you how to navigate to it. Crestron modules. I usually look under all Crestron modules. And then if you press P, it'll get you to the P section. And we're looking for password. Let's see if I can see here. Password version 1.1. There's a couple other ones that I don't like. This 1.1 seems to work pretty good. So you just drag that in here. I'm going to press Alt Y to close that left side. The first thing you'll notice if you press F1, uh, open another window here, the help file is pretty much useless. So I'm going to explain basic usage of this module. So this module has the ability to change the password on the fly. I never use that. I just keep it as in compare mode. I never use this change mode. At the bottom, there's a parameter for the default password. This is the password you're going to use. There's a backdoor password. This is if you have it changeable, then you always have a way to get in. I just leave this as whatever. I don't use the backdoor. With the maximum password length, that's pretty self-explanatory. You'll notice that there's inputs here for all of the characters of the keyboard. So you can actually have an alphanumeric password if you want. In my example, I'm just using a numeric password from zero to nine. So I've got these digits here. I'm going to show you how I built the touch panel in a second here. The main controls that you care about are disabling the backdoor password. I just put a zero on there. And then password enter, password clear. As you enter the digits for the password by asserting these signals from button presses, we've got this password serial output. I don't use this. This is the actual password that you're typing. And then stars. You saw that in the example where it's showing you the stars as you're typing. And then we have a pulse for OK and a pulse for wrong. We're not even using the wrong pulse. We're just using OK. Enter is what causes it to evaluate what you've put in. And clear just clears out the password. So this is the basic guts of the password module. And I'm going to show you how I put that into a touch panel project. The only other thing that I've added to my project here is a set reset latch, which basically holds the pop up that you saw with the password entry that holds that open and the OR gate gives us two different ways to close that page where we can close it. And I'll show you in a second. We can close it from the X or we can close it by getting the password right, basically. Four or five and hitting enter. So that's another way to close it. And then it just basically page flips to the page. So I'm gonna show you the VT Pro project now. So this is also very basic. I'm trying to keep these examples really easy to understand. This one actually probably came out a little bit more complicated because I got the pop-up, but it looks pretty nice and it's something that you can look at the example program and see how I did it. So I've got the main page with the settings with a digital press of one, that button. Uh, my password pop-up, it's a sub page. On this page, I've got a keypad, simple keypad. You have to set the smart object ID. What you do, you have to compile it and then you associate that with your project. I'll show you that in a second. The other thing that I've done here is the miscellaneous buttons, this clear and enter. I've named them specifically so that we can use them for that. These are those stars I talked about. They just have a indirect text serial join of one. And this is a button to close, which is just digital press two. Other things to note here, I drag this onto the main. I'll just did it again here and delete that. So I drag it onto the main and then at that point you click on it, you can give it a join and that's the join that shows it. That's the visibility join for the pop-up. I've also added a fade transition type. I think it's a little bit smoother to transition in and out. And the advanced page, it's just another page. See it load here. And it has a join of 20. So whenever I pulse 20 on the feedback of the touch panel in simple windows, it'll flip to this page. The return is just a previous page. Actually, sorry, it's a um, 
page flip to main. I usually do my menu navigation using a different method, but this was easier just to show it this way. So let's flip back to simple. And I wanted to show you the smart graphics extender. First of all, the, the button presses, settings press, pop-up close, that's that red button. Pop-up feedback, which is the feedback that shows the password entry page. And OK is what happens when you get the password right. It'll flip to that other page. Serial text join of those stars that comes back. There's no analogs defined. Now, if you right click here, manage GUI extenders, you have to first compile the touch panel, then you can associate this. You browse to it to find the SGD file and commit changes. And then it'll bring this simple keypad in. Remember, you have to define that smart graphics ID. And the smart graphics ID here, object ID is one. So this smart object gives me basically those buttons. So I'm just feeding these. If I press F2, I'll show where they go to. I'm just driving these into the password module. Now the last step of the puzzle is how I deal with the set reset latch. So I'll just show you that here, that and the or. So when you press the settings page or settings press, that's this, this button here, you'll set the latch. That will make the feedback go high. The feedback is what drives this pop-up. Now I need the or because when you get the password right, the module will get that OK as a pulse. Or if you press the red button, it will hit that and that will be a condition to close that set reset latch. So you can see here I can hit X or I can get the password right and it closes the pop-up as well. So that wraps up this video. This shows you how to have a settings page where you enter password and it will get you to an advanced page. If you want to see how to actually load a touch panel and load the project to a processor, there's other videos I think on this channel that will show you that. If you can't find anything, just comment below. Maybe I'll add those to the list of things to make. The other thing that I'm doing here is displaying this as an X panel. There's a bit of a sneaky way that you have to do it now that Adobe Flash is depreciated. I can share that information on another video.